Hey everyone, this is video number two. I'm gonna hold up two in the environmental job series. Today's video topic is going to focus on what kind of jobs and careers you can get with a degree in environmental science. So when I say environmental science, I mean degrees in ecology, degrees in wildlife biology, degrees in marine biology. I'm gonna go through 12 career fields that you can get with environmental degree. So I'm going to start off with number one, which is probably the most obvious, and that's a, a job as an environmental scientist. So that includes wildlife biologists, vegetation biologists, wetlands biologists. You're in the field a lot for these types of jobs. Some people work mostly in the office, reviewing kind of the work of technicians. The types of sectors you can work for for those types of jobs would generally be research. So like your local university might hire environmental environmental scientists to go to Antarctica and study fur seals. A lot of times the research jobs require more of the advanced degrees. There's government jobs. Those jobs would be working with the government to get an idea of what sort of resources maybe that are in a city park. For example, a government biologist in Alberta might be working out in Banff National Park studying the impact that a new freeway has on caribou. I work for a consulting company and when a say energy company wants to build a new pipeline for example they need to do years of background studies so a consultant will work for that energy company um, some sort of resource company or even just um, a business in general would hire a consultant to come in as a specialist on the project and be able to tell them here's what you have in this area we found this wildlife we found these wetlands here are our recommended mitigation measures so that your project will reduce harm to wildlife. Consulting companies can also work for the government and that's where it gets kind of confusing is you can be consulting to the government or consulting to a university, you kind of work for everyone. Sometimes large um, energy companies, for example, might hire an environmental scientist to work straight for them and see what kind of wildlife are in the area. So you can also work directly with the oil and gas company. I keep mentioning energy companies just because that's what the realm that I work in, but there's across the world, there's so many different types of companies that hire specifically technical environmental scientists. So in that kind of role, you're definitely more of a technical specialist for a company. The next role I'm gonna talk about that you can get with a bachelor's degree in environmental science is a policy analyst position. So a policy analyst type of job is typically working for the government and a job like that is going to be looking at the environmental regulations of a specific area and developing policy, analyzing policies, for example, policy surrounding a zero emissions vehicle mandate. A job like that is definitely going to be almost entirely an office job um, with the exception of maybe traveling for meetings, maybe doing a bit of on-site visits. So if you have a really good writing skill, you're into um, politics and working for the government, the policy analyst position might be a really good one. And you can find those types of jobs on government websites. So another type of job that you can get with an ecology environmental degree would be an environmental educator job. A lot of those types of positions, you'd be working with either a school district as an environmental science teacher or you'd be working, for example, with your local park to give tours to the people visiting that area and teaching them about the wildlife that's in the area, the different types of plants, like maybe doing guided nature walks. So this type of job is generally good for people who are best working with people, people who are decent at public speaking or working like in a classroom type setting. So a job like that would be perfect for someone who is bubbly, open, friendly, loves educating people and gets really excited about just walking around in nature. So the next job I'm gonna talk about is environmental planner. That job is also another really general job. You could be doing so many types of stuff with an environmental planning career. When I worked as an environmental planner, this type of work that I did a lot was um, applying for permits, uh, taking the information that I got from technicians out in the field and incorporating them into reports. So a lot of report writing, a lot of working directly with clients, especially on some of these big projects. Also, the government hires a lot of environmental planners to approve permits, review permit applications, 
and kind of plan the environmental resources that you might have in that area, create natural resource management plans. Primarily, you're going to be in the office. So environmental planning would be a really good kind of career path to go down if you really good writer, if you're good working in the business side of things, and it can also be one of the higher paid ones as well, too. The next job I'm going to talk about is environmental engineer. So for example, environmental engineers might design biofuels that are going to be the new source of energy for the future. Environmental engineer might create a new type of filtration system that can get oil out of oceans. It requires more of a degree that's focused on environmental engineering or something that's a little bit more technical than like a Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Science. But if you're really interested in wanting to create innovative new solutions to solve environmental issues, being an environmental engineer might be for you. You can typically find those types of jobs with consulting companies directly with large businesses that might need an environmental engineer to review wastewater treatment plants, for example. You can also find it environmental engineering jobs with government and um, all the different branches of government. A lot of them will hire a few environmental engineers. You also find environmental engineering jobs at universities, at research institutions. The next job I'm going to talk about is sustainability specialist. So a sustainability specialist will work with with a business typically to provide solutions on how that business can be more sustainable. So under this career path, you get the people who are providing zero waste solutions for companies. Another option for sustainability specialists are people who work on like certification of buildings, people who actually review the documents and make sure that those certifications are going to the right places. So if you're really passionate about zero waste, recycling, um, you know, eliminating trash, and you are good with people, you're good at recommending solutions to help reduce your waste, a sustainability consultant might be a really cool job for you. If you find a sustainability consulting firm that hires you, um, that's often a really good way to go. Next job I have is environmental activist. So typically an environmental activist would be working with a nonprofit organization such as the Sierra Club or Greenpeace and they would be participating in environmental um, campaigns. They'd be designing environmental campaigns. They'd be reaching out directly with companies that they wanna see make a change. I would also put this in the realm of people who do um, documentary filmmaking for environmental causes. So like creating movies like Blackfish. This job path would be perfect for people who are really passionate about a specific cause. They are willing to have the guts to you know maybe confront big organizations to organize protests, good at speaking, and downside on a lot of these jobs is they can often be really hard to find. A lot of them are volunteer positions at first before you can get hired full time, and they're often not well paying. So the next job I'm going to talk about is um, a marine biologist. Kind of a misconception that to be a marine biologist, you have to have a marine biology degree. You you could do work with a marine rescue organization. You can work for organizations such as NOAA, Fisheries Canada. A lot of times marine biologists are in the field, they're on a boat, they're doing bycatch monitoring maybe for a fisheries organization, um, maybe studying the oceanography of a coastal area for the government. There's such a huge variety of marine biology type of jobs. Marine biology jobs can often be quite competitive. I'm going to recommend a marine biologist YouTuber. I will link to her below and I don't remember her name off the top of my head, but if you want to be a marine biologist, I would recommend looking at her videos. I would recommend marine biology jobs for people who know that they are going to be living on the coast. If you love the ocean, the next job I'm going to talk about is conservation officer, fish and wildlife wardens so people who are looking more at the enforcement side of things a lot of times fish and wildlife wardens um, they have a knowledge about hunting a background in hunting or people who are really passionate about um, catching poachers and people who are adventurous and not afraid of confrontation they're also great for someone who lives in a rural area where this might be the only type of wildlife job you can find next job i'm going to talk about is animal care or someone who works at an animal sanctuary and so that can include wildlife or that can include like cats and dogs an animal sanctuary type of job would typically involve you working outside exception to that might be like a veterinary technician job where you're working in a vet office. I worked with three rescued pumas in Bolivia to she take care of them, it. feed them, she enrich really them. To this mood where she just wants to cuddle. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> Meow. <laughs> She's a good girl. Then I also worked with rescued wolf dogs in Alberta. You have to not be afraid of working di directly hands-on with, you know, some of these large animals, wild animals. So, so it can often be extremely low paid or no pay not paid at all, volunteer positions. So a lot of times you'll have to work in animal care type jobs. You might have to volunteer for a while before you can get into a permanent full-time paid job. I would recommend looking up nonprofit animal rescues in your area. You can just search on Google wildlife rescue your area and see what's around. If you're willing to relocate to um, a place to find a job, you can search different areas too. You can travel around and work at different animal sanctuaries. You can look at your local zoo to see if they're hiring animal caretakers. The next job I'm gonna really quickly talk about is working as a project manager. So um, a project manager is such a general term but um, a lot of times environmental consulting firms or government might need someone to really manage a large environmental project. So there might be a big research project that, for example, the University of Alberta is doing on polar bears and they want a person who, with more of the managerial skills and the coordinating, the organizing skills to manage this project. So project management jobs are really great for people who are good at working with people, people who are really organized. And those types of jobs generally start out as more of a project coordinator type role. So project coordinator role would be a good one to kind of search in your job searches. Benefits of a project manager role is these jobs can often be higher paid. I know project managers with only an environmental degree that are making well into the six figures working for oil and gas companies. And the last job I'm gonna talk about today is research technician. So a research technician job would be for people who want to be a little bit more in either a lab setting or working on a large research program. So this type of job is perfect for people who are organized, they enjoy that lab environment, they love science, they love the methodology. These types of jobs can be found through your professors, through your university, or even with private companies. For example, you know, a biotechnology company might hire research assistants to help them or lab assistants to help them um, sort through all the data for a research project. So if you wanna kinda of go back in time, I already did part one of my environmental wildlife job series. And part one covers how to get a wildlife biologist job, but starting in high school, middle school, and college, and all the things you can do specifically to set yourself up for getting a good job after graduation. So if you're interested in looking at that, I'm gonna to link to that above, so you can check that out. Any other ideas for things you want me to cover in my environmental career series? Also leave a comment below and let me know, and um, thanks for watching.